to proceed we will start creating migrations we need um, we will create a migration for com company then for projects for tasks for comments then further down when we're through we can come back and create for posts uh, but then um, we also need to modify that of users a lot all right so let us get into the migrations i hope that this session will teach you how to create migrations and for the next few videos we'll just be creating migrations only all right to create a migration what we will do is we will open our folder as usual hold down the shift key and then we right click when it opens what we'll do is select open command window here and then this guy will pop up you right click and um, this is how to create a migration in laravel so it is basically you type out php artisan make migration then you name the table you want to create the migration for for us in this case we want to create a company's table in laravel all your tables in the database must be in plural so i'll hit enter and laravel will create the migrations for this table for me and once it's done we will also create migrations for other tables all right now our migration is created what we will do is to go and check um, whether it's actually created so if you go to your list of folders you go to database migrations you will observe that a new migration has been created for us it is called company stable and when we click on it you see that it has attempted to write some um, things for us remember that migrations are just a way to version your databases so instead of uh, going to your php my admin or your database manager to create the tables manually you create it here in a file so that it can be versions when per version properly when you push it to git all right so um this is our company's table we are going to quickly um create other fields here now if you want to read more about creating migrations you can read it straight up from the uh, the laravel documentation which i will show you right here so this is the laravel documentation and um, let me just walk you through when you visit laravel.com at the extreme here as you can see on my mouse uh, you make sure you select laravel 5.5 all right or whichever version of laravel you're currently using for me i'm currently using 5.5 which is the latest at the moment of creating this video now what you will see is by the left hand side you will see a list of topics that you can um, read up then but what we want is you click on database then click on migrations and then you see that there is this thing you have to read up about migrations now a whole lot of things i've done so far are actually in this documentation and um, what we want to do is to further our migration and uh, create other um, items in the migration all right so if we get back into our code you see that company's table requires an id which auto increments the table also uh, requires a name every company has a name so the name is basically a string and um, that's company name and one more thing we can do is uh, probably we can have um, a description or something so we can have a, a company description now if you're not really sure how i am getting uh, the values i'm putting here like whether i am doing magic what you would do is to uh, go to the same migrations page that i showed you scroll down to columns and then under the columns you will see that there are um, different types of column commands you could use and in this case i'm just going to use the long in uh, long text column command now we're looking for description uh, which is basically what we want here so we have a long text and then uh, it's basically a long text com column command and the name of the, the field is description so this is how to do it and then when you there are two types of uh, functions here the one is up that is when you run the migration it will create this table this table company's table with um, all these fields for you in the database now if you run um, this other command it will simply drop the table which is deleted so sometimes you want to delete a table you this is the command that will delete it for you 
all right so we're done with the com company's table the next thing we have to do is to create uh, another table but that will be in the next video where we'll create the project um, migration all right thank you see you in the next video